Okay. So I got a couple comments from uh, Blue Sage. And he is a friend of mine. He's raised some concerns about my stance on my video about Roe v. Wade being uh, overturned. And I would like to address his comments as calmly and as specific as I can make it. So, because I really don't want to come off as some man-hating bitch. That's really not the goal of this these videos when I talk about Roe v. Wade being overturned. That's not the point. It's not to be a man hater. So um, he left a couple comments. I'm also going to go over another one, maybe two. I'm not really sure yet, but um, I'm going to go ahead and read this to you and we'll go over it. So what about when men get raped and a pregnancy occurs? Is there a fem There is a female singer that drugs men and has sex with them. Nikki, Nikki something, if I remember right. And there's a lot of female teachers that have sexual relations with their students. That's statutory rape. The females can refuse to have an abortion and force their rape victims to pay for 18 years of child support. Is that fair? Sex crimes are not 100% male attackers, so requiring men to have a uterus before they have a voice is rather entitled in my opinion. There are also men that want the baby, but the mother doesn't. She can get the abortion without regard of his wishes. If sex was consensual, they both knew a pregnancy was possible, but only she has a voice in the decision. So like I said, Blue raised a couple of really good points, and I want to address them as plainly and as clearly as I can. So, men that get raped and pregnancy occurs. As Blue raised, typically this is done through student-teacher student relations. I do not believe that men who are raped should have to pay for child support if their rapist chooses to keep the baby. That is my stance regardless of gender. Okay? Rapists should be punished for rape regardless of gender. Period. Rape is rape. Doesn't matter if it's committed by men or women or whoever. Rape is rape and should be treated as such. As for the Nikki something singer, um, you're actually probably thinking about Cardi B. Nicki Minaj's brother was recently accused of rape or attempted rape and has been sued by the victim uh, along with her and her husband. They've, they've been sued by the victim for her brother's attempted rape on this person. Um, Cardi B used to be a stripper in New York and would take men who would want to have sex with her back to her hotel room and drug them and rob them. On occasion, she has also said that she would bring a transgender friend over in order to engage in this threesome while the victim was hopped up on drugs and alcohol. That, in my opinion, is rape. And I think Cardi B should be prosecuted for that. You are getting people intoxicated and taking advantage of them as a joke. Not only have you robbed them because she admits to going through their wallets and taking money to get cabs to get home, you've also let them wake up to somebody who they did not consent to have sex with. They did not consent to have sex with a transgender person. Or so they claim. I don't know what happened in that bedroom. I wasn't there. Um, but that's rape. And yeah, she should be prosecuted. Now, Cardi B has also retracted this. So she's lying about one thing. She's definitely not a trustworthy person. I don't think that she should be getting off the hook for rape. I think she should be charged with that. That's absolutely despicable. Same thing goes for, again, teachers. That's despicable. It's rape. Doesn't matter if the kid was 16. That's not the law. It's rape. Okay? Um, sex crimes are not 100% male attackers. Entirely true. There, um, in fact, when women violently offend against, or when women offend against other women, for instance, it tends to be very violent and a lot more uh, brutal. Than, than male attacks on women. Um, when females attack other females sexually, it, it's, it tends to be 
more extreme than, you know, your standard cases. Not that rape isn't, you know, something extreme, but, but women can be very brutal when they sexually offend. Um, so, as for uh, men that want to keep a baby, but the woman does not, yes, she could, she should be able to have an abortion without regards to her boyfriend's wishes. Or husband's wishes or partner's wishes. Okay? Because it's her body that's changing. It is her body that is being hooked up to this other organism to supply life to it for nine months straight. It is her body that will be permanently altered from the pregnancy. If she chooses not to keep the baby, it should be her decision. Now, as I said before in my reply, hopefully before people engage in sex, they should be having these conversations with their partners. They shouldn't be just going out and fucking whoever they want and then like, oh, well, I'm pregnant. It happens all the time and it's, it's absolutely abhorrent behavior in my opinion. But that's why abortions should be legal because people are stupid and they do stupid things. Um, if, like when I personally, when I first got with my, my husband, I told him I'm, I can't have children. That was something that was immediately discussed. I can't have children. If we get serious, you will not be a father, which is a shame because my husband would have made a great father, but I can't have kids and I have been surgically sterilized. I was sterile beforehand, but they finally took out the organ that was offending. So that is definitely something that you and your partners should be discussing before you engage in sex. Birth control is not 100% fail proof. It's just not. Condoms break. Pills don't always work. UTIs don't always work. It happens. Okay. Life finds a way. So the woman's body is the one that's on the line. The woman's body is the one that's being sacrificed. If you want risk-free sex, you have the option of your left hand or a vasectomy. A woman can only get pregnant once a year. She can only get pregnant once a year, have a baby once every nine months. A man can impregnate 365 women a year, and that's if he just does it once a day. If he's a real stud and goes two or three times, he might double or triple those numbers. Could you imagine one man impregnating 1,000 women? People that really care about sacred life and want to stop abortion should really advocate for male vasectomies. It's very easily reversed. It's low, low risk to the patient, whereas an abortion is high risk. You do risk death and sterilization when you have an abortion. And you don't see that. What you see are people advocating in the name of Jesus for the control of women's bodies. Corpses have more rights to their bodies than women do when they become pregnant. And that is why it's so detrimental that Roe v. Wade was overturned. We don't have bodily autonomy anymore. Let me try to explain it this way. You, Blue, are an extremely healthy individual. Your functioning organs, you've got great sense of, of life, you're a wonderful provider, you're a contributing member of society, and let's say that you've got the right frickin' kidneys and blood type for Johnny. Johnny is a 16-year-old boy, and he has kidney failure. And he needs to be hooked up to your kidneys through a series of tubes in order to be kept alive until he can get a transplant. So are you okay with us hooking Johnny up to you, Blue, without your consent? I don't care whether or not you say yes or no. I'm just going to do it whether or not you say yes or no. Your consent doesn't matter in this case. Now, like most reasonable people, you would probably say no. 
I'm not okay with some stranger hooking themselves up to my body in order to maintain their life without my consent. That's the same thing. Most abortions that are taking place are taking place before it's more than just a, a clump of cells. It rarely leaves the zygote stage when abortions happen. Late stage abortions, like five months, yeah, we can make a case for maybe not five months. But the law defines being able to be a person and not a fetus when a fetus can survive outside the womb by itself. Okay, it no longer is dependent upon the mother's organs for life. So it's not a person, it's a clump of cells. Johnny is an actual person. He needs life. If you care more about the clump of cells I am removing from my uterus than you care about Johnny, it's not about life. It's not about sacred life. It's not about the whole preservation of life bullshit that Christians want to spill. Not that I'm projecting that onto you, Blue. I don't think that's your view. It's, it's quite literally the same exact thing, though. If you do not want to give up rights to your body to help Johnny you should not expect women to give up rights to their body to help a zygote become a person and that's literally the only way I can put that okay as for this one here uh, this was another one that he left sad thing is we really can't discuss this for two weeks so many emotions and hurt feelings are making people act stupid it's wrong to overturn Roe v. Wade I am seeing leftists making some wild claims such as going after birth control and same-sex marriages. I also need to see what is affected by the decision. If they ban all abortions, including for medical reasons and rape, I'll be one pissed off person. There are no exceptions for incest or rape. So 12-year-olds will have to carry their incest uncle, baby, cousin, son to term. There are absolutely no exceptions for rape. Abortions are 100% back in the hands of the state. Some people think that's a great idea. Other people don't. The people who think it's a great idea tend to be Republicans. They want to take it out of the hands of big government. They don't want big government telling them what to do. But it's not big government telling them what to do. It's quite literally human rights. The right to your own body is a human right. So the reason why people are talking about going after birth control and same-sex marriages is because those are also human rights. If you're willing to violate some human right, viol uh, commit some human right violations, then you're willing to commit other human right violations. It's a slow justification. So that's why some people are worried about same-sex marriages and abortions. Um, you remember Hobby Lobby kind of had that big hoo-ha over them not covering abortions through their insurance because it was against their Christian values? That's what we're talking about. So I hope this has kind of helped you understand a little bit better where I'm coming from. This is, again, not meant to be a man-hating type video. I don't want to talk about how small penis sizes are. Um, that's ridiculous. That has absolutely nothing to do with the discussion. We are talking about women's rights to do with their body what they want to do. Would you want somebody telling you when you can pee and shit and shower and sleep and eat? We call that prison. Those are punishments. Why are you forcing that onto free citizens who have done nothing wrong? So, again, hope that helps explain my position on that. As for Trenton here, it's called if you don't want a potential to have children, use birth control. And if you don't want that, then it's as simple as not being in a relationship and keeping your legs shut. And besides, that's the best birth control in the world. Okay, do you tell 12-year-old rape victims... That they should have just kept their legs shut? Should I have kept my legs shut at six when I was raped? Is that your solution?
do you think rapists care about birth control? A lot of them don't even use condoms. That's how we know it's them. We got DNA samples. It's absolutely disgusting to think that people are using abortions as a form of birth control. It's like all of you saw fucking Orange is the New Black and that psycho little Kinzatucky chick blowing up the abortion clinic because she went in to have five abortions in six months. You, you really think bitches are doing that? Because we're not. The, uh, nobody, nobody chooses a surgical procedure as a first resort. Nobody. That's insane. You think because women go home after they have an abortion that somehow it's not that big a deal? That's not a major surgery? I had a hysterectomy. They removed organs from my body. 20 minutes after I woke up, I was on my way home. That doesn't mean it wasn't a major surgery. That doesn't mean there wasn't major trauma. Disgusting what you wrote, Tritton. Absolutely disgusting.